want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. You want to support me? Go to TikTok. Follow me at Trenches News 3837. Yo! It's your boy Trenches News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to my channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to all my mods. If you ain't following them, you can follow their ads at the end of this video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless, man. I don't care how much money you say you got or think you got. You could lose it all due to Mother Nature, and now you're homeless. So make sure you get back. With that being said, let's say the kids, the women, the elderly, the neutrons, and the civilians. Happy Tuesday to everybody. Make sure y'all get out there and vote, man. Positive vibes only. Happy Tuesday once again, man. It don't matter who you vote for, as long as you vote for the person that you feel and not nobody else feel, you know? So make sure y'all go out there and vote. With that being said, man, I got two stories. I got OTF Jam, man. People saying he dead and everything, man. We, let's, we got to talk about it. And then I got three gang members in the Drill City area, man, was pulled over and killed a cop. We got to talk about it, man. Make sure y'all smash that like button so this video can get around to the masses. Remember, if you want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. All right, y'all. We're going to start off with the police shooting, man. Three gang members, man, got pulled over for a simple traffic stop. Now, it was weird because on the video, if you watch the video, you will hear the police officer saying, we just going to call probation. We just going to call probation. And if they just didn't want to pull over because some probation shit, because somebody, one of them cut off their ankle monitor, like, that's crazy. They just throwing their life away. But I'm going to get into the story and read the story. Young Chicago police officer who courageously protected the city shot to death in Chatham, two in custody. The on-duty shooting occurred at after 8 p.m. in the 800 block of South Ingleside Avenue. So that's Bloodhound them. That's the Bloodhound them block. 80th for Ingleside, 79th for Ingleside to, to um, Maryland. That's the blocks that they be on. Stopped a vehicle with three occupants. The 26-year-old officer, Inique Martinez, was one month shy of completing three years on the job. Damn. In a burst of rapid fire, a suspect fatally shot um, someone riding in his vehicle and a Chicago police officer doing a traffic stop in Chatham. So not only... Did the person who killed the police officer kill him? But they killed their homie too. It's a bad night for them, man. The 26-year-old police um, officer Martinez was pronounced dead at 814 at the University of Chicago Medical Center only minutes after the shooting um, occurred, according to Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Damn, bro. He was proud individual. The attack unfolded after officers stopped a vehicle with three um, occupants about 8 p.m. in the 800 block of South Ingleside, Snellis said. As officers approached the vehicle, one of the occupants opened fire on Martinez. Snellis said, adding that it sounded like rapid fire. The officer was struck multiple times. One of the occupants of the vehicle, who remained unidentified, was also struck and killed by gunfire. The shooter ran out from the vehicle after trying and, and falling, um, fell in the drive away. Um, Snellis said he was taken into custody after a brief foot chase and a search the area. The third person in the vehicle ran, who was in the back seat, was also arrested. Officers recovered a handgun on the occupant of the vehicle who was fatally shot. Officer also recovered a semi-automatic weapon with an extended magazine on the scene. Damn, one of the officers did shoot back. The shooting was captured on uh, a frantic police Dispatch, that's where time's um, droned out by screaming and radio interference. Yeah, man, these kids just threw their life away, man. The front passenger was armed with an automatic weapon. An officer said over the radio, two firearms was found at the scene. Minutes before the shooting, a woman reported that she had um, shot and wounded someone who tried to break into her 2017 Kia Soul in the 8200 block of South Ingleside, two blocks south of a daily attack on police officer. And an officer later reported over the radio that the shooting wasn't bona fide, indicating that a gunshot victim wasn't found. Yeah, man. So, yeah, they just threw their life away, basically, man. Them guys just threw their life away, didn't care about life. One was on the ankle monitor, and he cut his shit off, man. Hey, they need to bring in the military. That's all I'm going to say, man. I keep saying it, and I'm going to say it again. 
We need the military. These police, man, they ain't ready. They ain't ready for the weapon power or they ain't ready for the, you can't go against nobody. You will never win against nobody who's saying F the world, bro. They don't care. They don't care about dying. They ready to go and see their homies versus the person who care about going home to his family after work. It ain't, it don't add up, man. You know? So that's what's going on with the game members, man. Then we're going to get into OTF Jam, last but not least. They, it's, I seen the video, rumors around with the ambulance, Jam just got shot, Jam did not get shot, Jam is in Hawaii right now, waiting on Lil Dirk trial to start, you know what I'm talking about, if anything, but no, nah, though, Jam ain't shot, he ain't shot, man, I know it's people, bro, like he's not shot, not harmed, or none of that, I don't even think Jam is in jail, man, I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, cause look, it wouldn't make sense for Jam to tell on Dirk. And be in jail still. To tell on Didi and Dirk and, 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 uh, and the other five on a murder. And then you still got me in jail. Man, that don't even sound right, man. <laughs> that don't add up, man. It, it don't. I know it happens. But no, J Jam a career crook, man. If Jam told, he out that motherfucker. He walking around somewhere watching YouTube from a fake page. Watching all of the, his old homies who time about him. Seeing who time about him. You know what I'm saying? But Jam ain't dead at all, y'all. He ain't dead on some real shit. He ain't dead. He is alive. That's all I can tell you. I'm not trying to get the man hurt, find his location, or none of that. Actually, Jam, actually, he wins a, re a award. You know what I'm talking about? He took evil He took evil down, man. So he might look like a bad person to y'all, but to God, he did God's duty, man. Somebody you can't, you can't be around here playing God. Even though he played God, you know, God can forgive you. If that makes sense to y'all, you know what I'm saying? But Jam ain't, Jam is far from um, dead. He far from dead. He breathing and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's all I got to say about that. But with the THF situation with Lil Law, man, um, ain't none of them guys hurt. G-Baby did not get shot. G-Baby did not get shot. I repeat, um, it was a shooting that was outside the club. Was they trying to get Lil Law and them? 50-50 chance. But Minnesota is deadly. They got money up there, and they got gangs just like everywhere else. It ain't sweet, you know what I'm saying? But they, they, they most know who they want, you know what I'm saying? They know that you ain't from there. They ain't just going to kill you because they know that you ain't from there, and they ain't never seen you. But if you hang it with the ops on, on, a, on, on a picture and all that, doing songs with them, you might, you might, you might be subject to getting killed. Hey, make sure y'all um, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram, man. That's N-E-N-E-M-A-R-I-E 37 on Instagram. And purchase you a signed copy of my book. If you want any promotions, hit me up at Swiper3837 on Instagram, man. My man is my nine. Let's say the kids. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to Made Media Magazine. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to them. We got content coming. And I got other interviews, man. Hey, get life insurance.